Welcome back to Mini Bikes some more. Um, today we want to do a review on the um, Creality K1C 3D printer. Um, it's been a very good printer. I've had it for about three weeks. It's got uh, four days and 23 minutes of print time on it. Um, the biggest issue I had with it was the the hot end needed to be replaced. Um, upgraded to a micro Swiss hot end. Uh, the print quality has been better. The uh, changing the filament has been a lot easier. And another upgrade I would recommend is getting a textured uh, build plate that make for some pretty awesome um, backs on uh, light boxes and just a just a better finish on some products. Um, it's been a really good printer, um, as you can see, 300 by 300 by 300 build space. Um, other than the hot end, though, this has been flawless. It's worked flawless since then. Um, that might have even been one of my uh, something I did so. But uh, I do want to show you the difference between the, the build plates. That's another thing I want to show you. And we're also going to do a quick review of the Bamboo Labs P1S. Um, so we'll go over here. These are some, some things I've been building. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but the texture on this snap-on light here, that's from the textured build plate. And then you go, and let me see, yeah. If you look at this, the back of this here, it's smooth. You can see the glue. It still needs to be cleaned off, but it's not near as a nice a finish as what you get with the, the textured. Um, we'll be reviewing some products that we've built. You know, here's even that with the Hot Wheels. You see the texture, and it makes it look a lot nicer. Um, and then we cruise over here. This is the uh, Bamboo Labs P1S. It's got the uh, AMS system on top, the auto, uh, automated uh, material. Uh, I don't remember what it's what it is, but it, it sends the material and switches it um, automatically, so you can do several colored prints at once. Let's get this door open. See if you can. We're building the 787 uh, model kit right now, but this this thing has been flawless since the day I bought it. It's definitely worth the extra money. So if you can, um, you know, afford one of these, I'd definitely go that route. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's been really really good all these multicolor prints that you've seen over there have all been done with this we uh the wsu shocker light box um let me cruise back over here obviously the hot wheels um let me get some of this stuff out of the way i want to show you the cooler stuff the harley davidson sign the chevelle the old truck hill 57 looks like chevy 56 Chevy Moon Eyes um, Another Harley Davidson sign which is pretty cool the uh, KUJ Hawks and the K-State Wildcats Some Chief stuff Chevy Super Chevy Glock that's also you can tell that like I said the textured on it and the Mopar sign um, there's all kinds of stuff you can build, but this is just to give you an idea. Um, if you can't afford the the bamboo, the K1 uh, Max is, is a good uh, good printer. Just buy some upgrades when you do it. Um, but I, if I definitely recommend spending a couple hundred dollars more and getting the, the bamboo. Um, that's it for this episode. We'll come back here soon, give you some updates. Uh, if you're wondering about the commercial printer, it's still broke. Um, I'm going to get it picked up. I believe Monday to get it worked on and see if we can't get it going. Um, but that's it. Out.